What's up guys, this is Showtime from Showtime Shredded Fitness over here. Size, growth, get big. All right, so I'm going to touch briefly on just a couple of little things, okay, um, that I promised I, I would look into and I might reply, might not. One was the, the shootings, I'm not going to mention that again in this video and when and, when and if I do it's going to be very brief just because... It's a, it's a knucklehead thing to do, and uh, there's no excuse for it, and uh, actually I will talk about it right now and get it out of the way, because I pretty much summed it up already what I would have done a whole other video on, 30 second video, why do that? So, it, it's a knucklehead thing to do, I don't know how to fix it, um, other than, you know, when we talk to the public, we need to be honest about it, you know, the majority of the Hispanics or any other immigrant, for that matter, that comes across this country, um, usually busts their ass, tries to men, run a successful business, have a better life. They're great contributors to our uh, society. And because there are that 5 or 10%, right, that fraudulently take advantage of the system, um, the uh, people are ignorant. And when that's out there, automatically people will say, hey, you know, damn phone, they will say, hey, you know, uh, all the Mexicans that come across here um, are getting on welfare and draining the economic system, and that's such bullshit. The uh, majority of the Hispanics that I know are either successful business owners and, and or increase their level of education and learn both languages and kick ass and take names and are some of the hardest working individuals that I know, and others or up from the crack of dawn, 3, 4 in the morning, they start their day out in the hot sun, doing a lot of work that a lot of people wouldn't do. And if that's not contributing, I don't know what is, because I sure as hell don't want to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning to go get my spinach and my asparagus, you know, for my low-carb diet. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, unless I absolutely have to, I'd rather not. Fair enough. I got a lot of things to do with the jobs, all this other stuff. And they don't get paid what they're worth either. Unless they're really busting ass because they do get paid by production. Some do make a pretty good living and they deserve that, you know. And even if it is based off of commission, it should still be, uh, you know, more than what they're making. But um, the point is they're out there making a difference, you know, working their asses off and contributing big time. Um, and that's what a lot of ignorant people will not tell you. And when... Uh, Powerful people, successful people like Donald Trump, who I have a lot of success for, I mean, respect for, but uh, makes people really stupid uh, because they believe everything he says and hang on every little bitty word. I'm not saying everybody. I'm talking about his his best supporters because he's got around his middle finger and, and uh, his little finger. And, you know, I get it because I'm that way with certain people that have my full trust, okay? Um, and people are that way with me. If I told them to take this fucking thing of toilet paper and blow through the fucker and their muscles would grow, there'd be people who would believe me and would do that because they trust me. So you don't want to abuse your trust. And I don't think he does that intentionally. He just wants his point across. He wants that fucking wall up, right? Um, but he talks only negative about the Hispanic community. As far as I have listened to, and I don't watch a lot of news, so... You know, I might be um, misinformed. He might say good things about the Hispanic community. I might just have missed it. But every time I hear him talk, it's about keeping the bad guys out. No problem with that. You know, getting rid of the bad guys, sending them back up. No problem with that. But he's he's separating good families sometimes. And that's one thing I loved about Bush is I don't think he was as good of a president um, as Trump as far as you know, getting us back financially, like Obama started to do and Trump is doing now. Okay, they came in a very bad time when the country was horrible and uh, Obama made it quite a bit better. And then I think Trump has made it even better yet. Um, still a little too early to tell, but he, he seems to be turning things around and uh, he's got a great business mindset, which I think the country needs. So some things about this president I really like. What Bush was right on target with the, the guest worker program and not separating the families 
I love that about him. He was spot on with that, okay? I agree with that. And when you tell people over and over and over again that there's people taking advantage of the system, they run welfare when they shouldn't be, and even sometimes hard workers that contribute um, because they don't have the right mindset. I overheard one time um, some Hispanics talking when I was taking them on a test drive. Hey, if you, if you don't have money, you know, you just go to the DSHS office and they give you money for free and it's free money for free food and, and it's not that's not what the system is designed for after you've exhausted every other resource worked your ass off tried your very best to make your bills feed your family and all that stuff and you're 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 you know hair of an ant's house from being out in the street and your family's hungry then for a hand up until you get the things going again I see nothing wrong with that using that program for that reason I believe that's what it's for, and I have no problem with my tax dollars going towards a program like that, and you guys shouldn't either. But the few people that, um, whether they misinterpret it or flat out fraudulently use it, not good, right? And I don't agree with that, and that's why a lot of Republicans are against it. But it's also helped a lot of people recover and not need it anymore and become successful after that. So, again, I have no issues with that with that program. It's, it's there for the right reasons. Um, people that abuse it shouldn't do that. Um, I'm talking a lot more about this than I thought, but the whole point of this is that needs to be recognized that the Hispanic community does way more good than bad for this country, and they're very good people as a whole, just like any other race, any other country, any other culture you got good people bad people so across the board you're going to have good people and bad people okay but like i said as a whole that hispanic community as far as family goes um loyalty towards family goes and work ethic and contribution second to none in my opinion okay uh nothing but huge respect and love for the hispanic community portion because i'm half mexican myself why is that well, both my kids are half. Well, that makes me half too, right? So, not by blood, but just the way things go, right? Because my mom's 100% uh, Hispanic. My kids are half. That makes me half. I don't think that separating families is the answer, unless, like I said, you're, you're putting, locking somebody up because they're a really bad guy. But the, other, the only thing that that man or woman has done is cross here illegally, has had legal kids here since then that are U.S. citizens, Case-by-case case basis, man. Let them stay, right? Especially if they're doing more um, more good than bad here. They're contributors, not causing any problems. The only crime that they committed was coming here illegally. Since then, they've been outstanding people. I was going to say citizens, but they're not citizens, right? They have to get their citizenship and first their residency. But I think they should be set up to, to qualify for that. Especially if they've been here for a long-ass time and done nothing wrong. Except for the, what they did years ago, which was come here illegally. So what? You know, so be it. And uh, that's what's causing uh, people to be racist because of those stupid negative stereotypes. Is that Trump's fault? That people are not stupid? That they're just going to focus on his negativity? No. But people who are in power, whether it be Trump or anybody, I'm just using him as an example. I mean, anybody who speaks out, you know, make sure you're also saying just as much positive stuff about the good guys as you are about the bad ones so that you don't cause hatred and stupid shootings. But we're having way too many. Traumatized people, bullied people, whether it be kids or adults, so they go open fire on people. People that are stressed, so they go open fire on people. Terrorists, so they fire on people. It's bullshit. Racists, so they fire on people. That's why I didn't really want to get into it because it's just fucking bullshit anyways. And I'm not going to mention any names of any of these active shooters because they don't deserve any some of these want to be martyrs they're not martyrs they're freaking they're freaking uh, psychos and they uh, don't need any public recognition they don't need any kind of uh, name recognition because some of them are proud of this and why we don't shoot them or even torture them and then kill them after doing such an atrocious act I don't fucking know because they cause more problems. Mall shooter. Gunning down people. Killed innocent people in a mall. Several people. Locked up in prison. 
hurt inmates. I don't remember if he killed or hurt them. And had a fucking pencil to one of our good guys, law enforcement, um, corrections officers. In a, in a big standoff. And he could have hurt or killed uh, one of our staff members. And he either did hurt or kill um, a couple of inmates. And you know as well as I do, not all inmates are bad. Some of them just make a bad decision. And some of them should be strung up and, you know, and that's not for me to decide. I'll treat them all equally unless they disrespect me. Because as long as they're in there, they ain't hurting nobody. But why give this the person, that, the person almost escaped. He was this close. And he got into a trap. He couldn't, couldn't quite knock the, a uh, bulldozer. He couldn't quite knock the, the fence down. They got him and everything else. But it's just stupid. Um, stupid, he should, be, he should be put to death immediately when there's that much evidence because you caught the motherfucker shooting people in open daylight. Kill that motherfucker on sight. And if you get him into a cell, within 48 hours, that motherfucker should be executed. Done. And I just, uh, I think we give uh, too much. And I understand that law is to protect people like you and me, from being, you know, falsely charged, fraud, falsely convicted, and things like that, crimes we don't commit. But again, when the evidence is way above and beyond the call of duty, man, we need to change our laws, man. We need to change our laws. It's not inhumane to do that. It's just making the world a better place, okay? They sure as hell didn't have any respect for us, right? When they gunned us down because they didn't like the color of our skin or because they didn't like our religion or we believed in God but we didn't believe in their God and Christians and Muslims are both just as guilty as this when they're the bad ones because I consider myself a Christian but I, I, I err on the side of question when I say that just because there's been so many people who have abused people and killed people and hurt people in the name of God or manipulated people to, to run a cause or a vision that was incorrect. In the name of God, right? Um, they use that to manipulate people. Religion. So, um, religion is a good thing. Nine times out of ten, don't get me wrong. Spirituality, anything like that. But, it could be used for the wrong reasons. So, anytime that people do active shooting in the name of God, or terrorists, or racism, or just because they're fucking Looney Tune nuts, not acceptable. And, we need to figure out, the only reason I really decided to go ahead and say something about it is just because maybe by addressing it, we can come up with a solution. People are pissed off, hey, we haven't got a hold on this, and, and we go back and forth on ways to do it, and, you know, because I'm not able to come up with a solution, I sure as hell don't expect the government to do so, especially when you gotta got to argue for 10 hours, uh, and still can't come up with a decision in 10 months and then 10 years, you know, on certain subjects. And you still can't come to an agreement on anything. Um, so, if I could come up with a great solution, I'd be airing the shit out of it. You know, so anybody that does have a solution to um, cutting back on the um, number of active shootings or to get a contain on it quicker. Because there, there has been a couple of cases that, you know, we've... Uh, stop terrorists in their tracks, haven't killed anybody. We, we take their weapon away from them, hold them until law enforcement can get there. So by doing these types of active things like I'm doing right now, there has been some lives saved here and there. But we still are way beyond. It's still happening way too much. Still too many mall shootings, school shootings, um, right out in the middle of the street shootings, and now Walmart shootings. I mean, it's just stupid. It's stupid. It's ridiculous. You know, people, when I went into prison... Uh, thought that I was nuts uh, for going into an unsafe environment. Man, it ain't unsafe. You know what's in there, right? You got the cavalry coming if you have to push the oh shit button. Uh, we have uh, all kinds of policies and regulations and safety zones and everything else put in and training, special training. We have, we know we can come up against, we'll probably just, worst case scenario, a shank, right? No guns in there, right? At least we hope. No dirty staff is going to bring in guns or a visitor somehow sneak in a gun or toss it over the wall. We do our very best to, to um, prevent that, right? So, um, way, way, way safer in prison nowadays. Um, 
as a, as a as a staff member than it is a civilian in the uh, in the street or in a shopping mall or at a Walmart or or anywhere in the world nowadays, right? Because it's not just the United States or Paris or it's 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 worldwide. It's worldwide now where we have bombings and terrorist attacks and and people in the name of Allah blowing themselves up because they get manipulated and they can't read and if they say it's in the Quran that that they need to blow people up and that that uh, they're gonna have 40 virgins and and all of this stuff uh, if they go strap a bomb to themselves and and walk into a bunch of people and, and kill themselves and others and uh, it doesn't say that in the Quran but because motherfuckers can't read and nothing against them they're poor they were for their money family and their family money if they don't do it the family gets whacked it's a tough call right and uh, they believe that they're gonna go to a better place and They've just been manipulated, brainwashed to thinking they're doing the right thing when they're doing the wrong thing. So you can't really blame the poor people that are manipulated by the by the rich evil ones. So it doesn't matter what religion you are. I don't care if you're Muslim, Christian, Buddhist. They seem to be the most uh, peaceful people in the entire world, right? Even though people talk shit about them. They have a, they have a great uh, spirituality or religion, or whatever you call it. Um, their their uh, ideas about karma and meditation and all that stuff is great I think um, don't have to agree with it I think if you want to be you know like I said I've I've got I've come to my spiritual views and and, and uh, beliefs and I might conflict with other people but you know it's my choice but it's certainly not Buddhism but it's the fucking most nonviolent fucking thing out there right so um, you can't talk shit about them causing problems so I have no problem with anybody following any kind of a religion as long as they don't hurt anybody because the basis of treat people the way you want to be treated, karma comes back, bites you in the ass, and all that stuff. Now the principles there are very, very good, very concrete, uh, very straightforward. So this video was not 30 seconds. It was almost 20 minutes. Apologize for that, 17 minutes, 20 seconds down now. But I uh, want to get that off of my chest comment below if you got any kind of a solution besides shooting people in the face uh, like Derek Howell suggested because I just mentioned it and and I think he has a great idea somebody has a gun on him another guy said good guys with guns yeah good guy with a gun shoot the bad guy in the face and stop him in their tracks I'm all for it brother I'm all for it Derek that's a great great idea any other ideas besides shooting people in the face Go for it. Comment below. Preventative measures even better. How do we how do we see this coming before it even happens? We ain't psychic, right? I don't expect an answer to that, but hey, you got any kind of an answer that even saves one life, it's fucking worth it, right? All right, it's been Showtime. It's Showtime Shred Fitness over here. Size, growth, get big. All right.